Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Laura Andrea. So I'm gonna be doing a wig today. It's my first time dyeing a wig in two freaking months. I know, I'm sorry, I apologize. But y'all know I am on the road in 2021 to get my shit in order, okay? So I'm going to be dying a wig. Um, don't really know exactly what kind of colors I want to do. But what I do know is I want to do a certain type of color scheme. So I know for a fact, um, for a fact that I want to do red, um, pink, and lavender. Um, these actually all three have been colors I've been doing for years. Like when I tell y'all years, I mean years. Um, so I just want to do that same color combo on this wig today. I did go ahead and tone this wig out. So I will put down below exactly what toners I did use to get this like beige white blonde. This is a red mixture that I have right now. And all I did was just use Rock Lobster from good die young they did go ahead and send me these wigs this is not a sponsored video but i was just very excited because the lead singer from panama had actually shipped these to me as far as like a pr package so listen i used to be a panama fan back in the day like back in high school middle school days those were my jams so it's very exciting the fact that i'm getting noticed by that type of caliber i guess you can say so shout out to good die young hair dye for sending me all of these dyes in this video so let's get right into it okay so i went ahead and started the red this is how the color is looking it's literally like the perfect red um tone that you guys know i love so i'm just going to start on this side most likely i'll record this side because you guys can see it like actually on the camera and then i'm gonna just keep going i'm probably going to stop about like i did this so fast i literally did this no lie in like 10 minutes not even like five so i'm pretty sure this is going to take the same amount of time and then i'm going to stop probably to like about here um, and then determine after that what exactly I want to do as far as um, the other colors of these. So let's get into it. Hey guys, so the red is all in the back. Um, honestly, one thing I want to say about these box dyes is that honestly, I feel like it is the easiest process to applying on the hair because it spreads so evenly and it spreads so like easily, I guess you can say. Like I feel like I'm like just saying like random words, but um, I don't know. I just feel like the perfect consistency like if you can find a dye with the perfect consistency and it goes a long way on the hair and it's not too thick and it's not too thin or too watery like that's why i like this type of um hair dye because i feel like when i'm applying it on the hair the hair dyeing process is so easy and so quick this is the fastest i've ever done my wig as far as coloring so um these are honestly like really pricey i ended up using about three of the red bottles and then I went to the store just now and I got a little bit obsessive y'all I went and picked up all of these different colors because at the last minute I decided that I wanted to do like a rainbow front um so I went and got the color x girl this one is 
people eater i don't know what that is about um stoned pony i have no idea narwhal narwhal i guess that is um blue ruin this is also what okay i would just put that down below and then there's still my sunshine so i went and picked up all of these hopefully i can like fit every single one in the front of the hair this is exactly what i'm doing i'm just parting out little sections oh my god i'm parting out little sections and putting a color you know in each section so yeah let's get to work i'm literally about to finish this wig this is literally an hour hair colored wig what what is wrong with me i'm on my shit woo Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out the wig. This is what it's looking like. I let it sit overnight. Um, Y'all know I like to let my wig sit overnight to make sure it's gonna be as vibrant as possible. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it out with cold water and then let it air dry. And then it'll probably be like next day when I start to cut it, style it, put the wig on and all that good stuff. Hi you guys, today is the next day. So this is the wig all rinsed out. I'm gonna see if I can, let me go around to the front. This is what the front looks like. Um, I feel like the colors are very vibrant. I'm so excited to see what it's gonna look like like when I actually blow dry it. So 
I don't know y'all this is how I was looking so far you already know I'll come back when the wig is about like 85 to 90 percent dry so I'm gonna just go ahead and blow dry it on camera per usual and then I'll come back when we are styling it <laughs> Also did pluck the front of the hairline to make it look a lot more natural when I obviously put the wig on next thing I'm gonna do is do the flat iron method so there's no specific way on how I want the hair to be as far as parting I more or less want like a free part but I don't know I don't really want to make like an exact part so what I'm thinking is just like keeping it exactly like so probably putting a little bit of yellow on this side so it makes like a deeper part i guess like this and just taking my sebastian shaper this is the brushable one so i have two of them it's sebastian shaper fierce which i'm going to use when i curl the hair afterwards and then i'm just going to use this to do the hairline in the front as well as spraying it before i do my curling iron and my hot tools um, both of the things I use as far as my hot comb and my curling iron are both from hot tools I will leave the links down below where I got them I got them both from well actually no I got this from B supply store so I don't really know if they sell this online if they do I would make sure I find a link on Amazon or whatever but I definitely do know that they sell this at Sally's so I'm about to do everything I pretty much just told you guys and you guys can just you know, watch and vibe out to some music.
Hi guys, so I'm just going to do a talk through for this part of the video since the other part I talked through like verbally like on camera but obviously I didn't want to do it for this part. So I'm just going ahead and prepping my hair for putting my wig on. You guys know I just do the same thing per usual just slick back my hair with some gel. I'm using the Erica J Slick You Down Gel. Don't really know, but I will put it down below in the description for anyone that is wondering. Then I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry the hair until it's dry and then I'm going to move on to putting on the wig. So this is my red fairy. I called her red fairy because if you guys did not know, I'm not red fairy on Instagram anymore. My name is now Larissa Andrea, but I just wanted to make a wig that literally represents red fairy, Larissa Andrea, and just everything that is me and you guys. This wig is just that. It came out so perfect. It came out so beautiful. I felt like the layers were just spot on. I felt like the way I curled it just made the wig just come to life literally so I'm just gonna do my install on camera since you guys love to see me do that I'm gonna be taking some Erica J hold me down spray and I like to put it into a bowl and apply it using my pattern beauty edge brush that is like the simplest way not only is it like super simple for beginners but I feel like ever since I started doing this my melt has been a one okay on top of that i do get to work with a very good lace this is a transparent lace that i tinted to my complexion using the erica j lace hue in medium brown so I definitely did not say, but in this video, I am using Chambray's blonde hair. I will leave it down below. You guys have seen me use this hair so many times on my channel. I did this for the Nicki Minaj wig and a few other wigs that I have on my channel. This is their season two blonde. It's not as coarse as their season one in another video that I did on my channel, but it's a lot more silkier, but it definitely has that thickness and that coarseness to it. On top of that, I feel like Chambray does a very good job with their lace transparent laces I feel like it just blends in so good especially their full lace so definitely make sure you guys check out chambray hair because they have been supplying me with hair non-stop honestly these videos would not be happening if it wasn't for a company consistently sending me hair per usual so definitely shout out to chambray hair for continuously sending me hair for my videos not only that their hair is amazing and it's pure Indian hair whether it's their blonde hair or their natural black so again i will leave chambray's information down below for anyone that is interested because honestly y'all every hair that i've used from them is worth every single freaking penny so pretty much i'm all done with this entire video i'm just going to be going ahead to use my fingers to style the hair even more i want to be showing you guys all the popping realness um you know that this wig can offer but thank you guys so much for my first color video of february 2021 i can't wait to see you guys in my next video and thank you guys so much Bye, guys.